Chris Watts is such a fascinating character. And if you're on this video, it's probably because you're fascinated as well. First, I'll describe what kind of person I see Chris as based on all the footage. Everything you guys have probably seen. And I describe him as just an empty vessel. It's almost like he's been programmed, slow processing speed, incapable of real human emotion, I would say. It's almost like he's AI that's been programmed to emulate what it thinks human responses are, but not at a deeper level. He's just as shallow as it gets. He responds to everything from Shanann to his parents to detectives to reporters. Probably everyone he comes in contact with responds and interacts in a way of what he thinks is expected. That actually makes a pretty good worker, a pretty good husband, a pretty good father, meaning he can do the tasks. But I think if he was a good father, he would have put his foot down on a lot of things with Shanann. And I just don't think, I don't know, for whatever reason, he didn't think he was capable, he didn't know how. And I think his programming didn't allow him to. <laughs> I just think he, like I said, he's a shallow vessel that only has a few commands programmed in him as a human being. And it's, it's the way I see him. A real father, a real husband would say, hey, for the long-term longevity of this relationship, this marriage, here are the things that concern me. Oversharing our personal life on Facebook, going in debt over Thrive, putting the kids to bed at seven, six, whatever it was, this constant hypochondriac type behavior has got to stop. This dividing me and my parents has got to stop. And if it doesn't stop, we're gonna go our separate ways. I love you, I married you, but this is unacceptable to me and we have to reach a compromise. But what he did was he ran from the problem because he didn't, I don't know how to handle it. He didn't know how to communicate that. So what he did was he tried to make her run away. He ignored her. He didn't make love to her. All that leading up to the crime was him hoping she would just go away and she wouldn't go away. And that's why he did the final act. Okay, she's not gonna go away. I'm just gonna have to end it. And I see, as I mentioned in my last video, which was a common theme of, of it, was that people blame Shanann for that. And she does, you know, deserve part of the blame in a marriage that was failing. Because obviously she has issues. You can tell from interviews of friends and even neighbors that he didn't talk much. And that's because I don't think he has much to say or even knows how to say it or, or really knows how to interact with people on a deeper level. It's very on the surface because I think that's all he's capable of in his programming. <laughs> um, he's void of emotion. He can't even pretend to have emotion. He thinks he is, he thinks he's showing emotion, but he doesn't even realize that that's not even close. His family's missing for a day or two. If he did it, you'd think he'd feel some kind of remorse, like to at least from the outside looking in, we see tears or an emotion that he would experience 
and let out without saying I did it. But it's literally, he's just blank. And I think that's how he just went through life for 30 years plus. And people can do that. People can just sort of hide in the shadows and not really have to be exposed for that. It's so maddening that he is being interviewed with the detectives and you could tell anyone watching these videos we all feel the same thing what is wrong with you it's it's just void of any sort of worry fear anxiety sadness emotion he tried to muster up some emotion and some tears when he was being sentenced. And that barely even worked. It, it's just, fa- I, it's fascinating. I, I'm just absolutely fascinated with this. And obviously you are too. Now let's, now let's get to the, the title, Guilt and Innocence. Everything I described kind of gives him an innocence. And, and he does come across as this innocent child in a way. This innocence of if you don't have emotion or know how to experience emotion, are you guilty of, of not having something you don't understand or know? doesn't seem to be full of denial I mean he sort of acknowledged that this is what happened the, the details he does lie he, because he's worried about what the perception is of him he, he has enough in him to know that he's very concerned about how he's being judged and how people what people think of him but it's like dude you, you in all likelihood, smothered your two little girls, strangled your wife, and disposed of the girls' bodies in the most heinous way. There's nothing you can say that's going to change people's perceptions of you, but he darts around some of the details, and I think that's why. He has enough in him to say, I don't want people to think badly of me which is just insane in a way which the word insane is he insane these are questions I'd like to know was he ever given a psychological test is he crazy is he delusional and that doesn't mean he's innocent of any crimes even if he is obviously if he was Insane. They are pleased. Not guilty by reason of insanity. I just want to know. Here's another thing I'd like to know if you could help me. Was he ever given a blood test? I'd like to know, was he on anything at the time of these crimes? Was he on any sort of medication? psychological medication, anxiety medication that literally pushed him so far over to the point where he was void of any sort of anxiety, any sort of emotion that just threw his brain way to the other side. I guess it's called SSI receptors, um, like Lexapro, those, those type inhibitors, I believe they're called. Um, I'd like to know that. What, what if anything, was found? Has that been done? Clearly, we probably won't know these things because it really didn't go to trial. And I do think that is, for our purposes of analyzing this case post-mortem, we don't have answers to those type of things. And those type of things probably would have come out in trial. And he waived his right to a trial. So we don't know. But I'd like to know. And I'd like to know what you think about that. And if that was the case, 
Could he have a lesser sentence? So I guess when it comes to innocence and is he not guilty, those are the things that kind of run through my head. So I'd like to know what you think of all this. Let me know below.